Hello, 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 and welcome to ER Emotional Response. This is Life Coaching with Ink, Ivory. Hi. As usual, I'm excited to be with y'all, connecting with y'all, building with y'all, growing growing with (laughs) y'all. If I'm not mumbling over my moat words here and there, I'm not Ivory. And you've known as long as you've listened to me, I will make mistakes. And I am never at a point where I won't admit my mistakes. So growth, that's the word I meant to say. Laugh with me, not at me. (laughs) Long and short, um, we are continuing the series on judgment. We covered some critical areas, some life-changing areas. Last time I spoke, dealing with your past and working on your present and moving forward. Because this is the thing. Words pronounce life or death on situations and people's lives. And in relationships. And we have to be mindful. And what we may estimate as not a judgment. It is when we hold it dear to us. Someone pronounced the judgment. You're never going to be successful. And if you... conclude that to be factual you take that judgment and you end up working a job below your means you end up in situations that compromise your integrity and you look like the picture of an unsuccessful person And judgment can be titled so many different things. Negative thoughts. Projectile. Attacks. Instead of a person dealing with their own emotions, they project it on you. It could be coined as so many different things. But tonight we're talking about judgment. And... You taking the judgment of others and holding it dear as a truth and you allowing it to be the judgment you put on yourself. So you no longer need the person to say or do anything negative or pronounce judgment on your life. You do it yourself. So... This is how detailed judgment is. From the time you wake up, you are judging the world. If you get up at a certain time, you figure the world will accept you on a certain level. You feel that people will accept you on a certain level. You feel that you will accept you on a certain level. If you wake up later than usual, you pronounce a judgment on yourself. This is how critical judgment is. It's so fine-tuned that Your thoughts that you wake up with, you pronounce judgment on your day from that point on. Whether you'll have a good day, whether you'll have a bad day, out of your decisions come the way you judge the next moment. 
And this is challenging. This will make you be mindful of your thoughts and your words. The very things you run away from and you don't want to happen end up happening because of the judgment that you pronounce on the day. And I wanted to cover this before I start the series on love, mainly because judgment can hinder our ability to comprehend love, experience love, and know love for what it is. Judgment will have you living in a small box in a big world because you're confined by certain statements, certain assessments you have made in your life and you don't know how to step out of that. And so as we cover part two of judgment, I want to talk about relationships. Relationships, a very heavy, heavy, heavy term we coin as we connect with others. And you might ask, how does judgment play a part <clears throat> in our relationships? It it plays a major part. Because how we view others affect how we view... Let me reword that. How we view ourselves affects how we view others. And so if we hard on ourselves... And we always pronounce in judgment and we standing over ourselves and beating ourselves up verbally. That's how we look at how we relate to others. And some things you can't control. If you was in an abuse, if you grew up in a verbally abusive house or physically abusive house or sexually abusive house. You can't control some experiences that you experienced early on in your life. And you process those experiences. This is the key thing. You process those experiences and you label them as toxic, abusive, exactly what they are. And you leave it right there. You don't pronounce a judgment on your life because you was abused in that experience. You're going to be abused for the rest of your life. Or you flip and you say you don't deserve X, Y, and Z because of abuse. You have to stop the buck right there and say, in spite of, I will not pronounce a judgment that I won't be successful in life. And can you move forward from whatever you went through as a child? Yes. Yes, you can. And that's another topic to really dive into when it, you know, just the abuse topic in itself. But if we skate through it a little bit. I just want to deal with the fact that you cannot pronounce a judgment on yourself, on your life because of bad things that happened in your childhood. And as an adult, you are responsible of your own emotions, of your own thoughts. Nobody else is. So... You have to take the reins 
of your emotions. And you need to process them and speak life into your situation. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. And so you don't have to walk around with daddy issues or mommy issues. You don't have to pronounce a judgment on your life. Well, you'll never have healthy female relationships or you'll never have healthy male relationships. You control more than anybody what what have, excuse me. You control what ever happens in your future more than anybody else. And it begins in your thoughts. And your thoughts label and they direct your your words. And then your words govern your actions. It's all interconnected. So the judgments that you put on yourself, some of them you need to dismantle. Yes, you've been hurt, but you can't stay in that hurt. You have to process it. You can't turn hurt and stay in it because then it'll ripple into anger, ripple into tension, ripple into bitterness. Embrace, okay? You was hurt and you move forward. And you dismantle that judgment. Well, I'm going to just be X, Y, and Z. No. You don't have to carry on different judgments that people pronounce in your life. And you don't have to carry on the different judgments that come out of your negative thinking. Take away all that's not beneficial. Regardless how comfortable it is or you're used to thinking a certain way, if it's not beneficial for you, then you need to dismantle it. And dismantling is a matter of just taking the intensity that you place behind the emotion and saying it doesn't exist anymore. If you have to do that every day. If you have to do that every day, you have to do it. But you learn to be less judgmental in your relationships when you're less judgmental towards yourself. I have seen men go from woman to woman to woman, this person not right, this person not right, this person not right. And they're so judgmental when probably all the girls is right, but they didn't want to work on the judgment that they put towards themselves. And it could be a matter of just admitting your frail sides of you and moving forward. And in this topic of relationships, I want to talk about building a rapport and timing. Because when rapports are not built and timing is not precise, people judge. Judge. 